Good afternoon, Noah. I have a lot to get through this podcast, so I'd like to firstly share with you and congratulate Noah for raising £704.53 for sports relief. Thank you to everyone who dressed up in sportswear and paid a pound. The ratings for the most charitable college are first place is King's, £256.95, second, Cambridge, £117.95. Third is Warwick, £117.20. Fourth, Oxford, £116.94. And Imperial, £95.50. I will add a college point for every pound raised by each college and add these to the college school board, which will be announced on Monday's the 31st of March's podcast. Will Cambridge stay in top or has Oxford taken the top spot back? Or perhaps King's has overtaken them all. During Friday's lunchtime, we held our third college Giving a Helping Hand event. Students nominated a song for 50p, which was played in the hall. We raised £7.40 for that half an hour. The current total for Noah Trip and Resource Fund stands at £51.09. Thank you to Sarah Moriarty for assisting me during the music playlist. Today, we'll be having our first tutor bingo. If you'd like to play, you need to purchase tickets from me in the courtyard immediately. You can buy an individual ticket for 25p or six tickets for a pound. All you need to do is have your tickets out during today's podcast and listen carefully to the numbers being called. There will be Easter eggs and R5 vouchers up for grabs. Our last and final Give a Helping Hand event is a college badminton competition. Sign-up sheets are on the board by Student Services. Thank you to the students who have already signed up to support your college. Entry fee is 50p to play and audience members 50p. The badminton competition will be held on Monday the 31st of March in the Sports Hall. Next, Miss Mills is going to talk to you about being consistently prepared for school. Hello, Miss Mills here and I'm going to talk to you about being consistent in your approach to school, specifically about the importance of being fully equipped. There are several reasons why being well equipped for lessons is essential. Firstly, your attitude to your own learning is integral to how successful you will eventually become. If you are thinking about the day ahead in terms of what you are going to achieve, being fully equipped for each lesson is a part of that. It shows pride in yourself as a student and shows others that you are ready to learn and are taking full responsibility for that. In addition to this point, your failure to come to lessons with the correct equipment is very disruptive to the learning process. How many times have you been frustrated that the lesson hasn't started yet because the teacher is desperately trying to locate pens, pencils, rulers or deal with students that don't have their PE kit? If you are someone who is guilty of disrupting others' learning because you are not organised, think about how you would feel if someone else was interfering with the things that you want to do. My final thought about being properly equipped is how much money is wasted on this every year. Your teachers spend hundreds upon hundreds of pounds from departmental budgets, replacing pens, rulers, rubbers and so on. Just think about what all of that extra money could be spent on. Next time you feel like complaining about the state of the computers or the condition of textbooks or how expensive educational visits are, take a moment to think about how much money you have wasted over this week, last year and your whole school career. If you're going to play our first Monday Tutor Bingo, can you please get your tickets out ready and something to mark them off with? And tutors, can you please get ready for the next recording?